Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to use and install and configure the CCP app for your iPad. And that app is used to control things on your computer such as Farming Simulator or other games. Uh, it's very simple and I'll just uh, do go through a quick demonstration on how I'm using it for Farming Simulator. Right now I'm in this combine and it's uh, it's not on, It's the ignition is off and uh, the parking brake is on so what I'm going to, going to do, I'm going to release the parking brake turn on the ignition like so and then we need to uh, start harvesting uh, as you can see my um, header is now the selected implement so I'm going to change implement in order to select the combine then I can press harvest and it starts to harvest now what I need to do now is go inside so I check press the view mode and then I use cruise control and now I'm sitting back relaxed using the G27 to control my uh, steering wheel in the combine but let's um, Let's have work. Let's get a worker to do this, so we can hire a worker. Uh, I think I did actually remove it on this iPad, but uh, it's not a problem to to add. But I'm just gonna hire a worker using the keyboard. Uh, okay, it's using auto combine. Doesn't really matter. What what really matters is that I can now go to another vehicle. Like that. Change the view mode. Oh, it's the one with the trailer on. We have to dis disengage the parking brake and turn on the ignition. Like that. Change to view mode again. And the combine is not... The hard worker is doing a terrible job. But... Um, it doesn't really matter, so let's oh, get this right here and change the vehicle back to the combine like this. Uh, on hire worker, on hire worker, dismiss worker. That's sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you mode and right there we go. We then use the same button as pipe out. Pipe out and pipe in is actually the same button. This is basically it. So let me show you how to install it and configure it. What you have to do is you have to go into your app store and you search for something called CCP, custom control pad. You have to buy the pro version in order to get more profiles so that you can control different games. But uh, I'm using the uh, control pad light, which is all, all right. You can use it just fine. So, search for that, download it in the app store, open it up. Right now, we um, we have it already configured. So, this means that the default layout uh, applications. There are some different applications you can try, um, and games. There are some different games as well. So if I go into, say, Armor 3, loads of this. This is much more complicated. So, uh, of course, there wasn't something for Farming Simulator. You have to create that one, that one yourself. User layout. Let's go back to that one. There we go. Now, it's locked at the moment, so you can't change it. So what we do is... Unlock it. Now we can press press the plus button, and we get we can add different things. Uh, we can add a button. Like that, and we can um, switch the layout of the button. We can drag it around, place it however we want, and in order to get something that's working. We need to go into the settings, 
call it something, let's say, hire a worker. That's alright. So, let's go to the settings. Now, this is where the magic happens. Right now, we have to tell the app what key it should emulate and send as a signal to the computer. This, in this case, it's H for higher worker. So, we go to character, say H, okay. And that's it. Press the save icon. And we now have a button that hires a worker. So, let's once again lock it. Go and press the ignition. Oh, you have to hold it. Parking brake. Hire a worker. Simple as that. Right. But, there's that's not all. You have to do something on your computer as well. So now, we have to install the server software that the app on the iPad can connect to. So what we do, is we go to this website. The link is going to be in the description. And we go to the server application download. Uh, my operating system is Windows. And the current current version is 1.05, uh, is 64 and 32 bits. I'll download this one. It's a raw file, download it. Once it's downloaded, we have to unpack it. I'm using 7-zip, you can use WinRAR, whatever. Um, like this. And you just run this, called CCP and you press next and so on. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it installed on my computer but you get the picture. Right, so once it's, in, it's installed uh, you have to be sure that the firewall is not blocking out. Right, the software is now installed as a service and it has to be running in order for the iPad to connect to it. It should be rendered down in your right corner of your taskbar uh, as the small icon that you see to the far left. All you have to do now is connect your iPad to the computer. So, press down on the app and you see this red icon. You press that and you get a list of services. Your computer should pop up on the screen. Connecting and I get this message on my computer. Uh, asking me for the acceptance of the connection. So we just connect and rem remember. You are now connected and it's working. That's it. That's all there is to it. One thing you have to keep in mind is that the iPad has to be on the same network as your computer. So you have to have wireless connection other otherwise it won't work. But that was it for the tutorial guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can use it. If you have any questions, uh, post them below in a comment. If you like the video, press the like and um, subscribe if you want to see more.